Welcome back to this edition of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. I'm Matt Siegel from Athletic Media Relations, joined by the legendary head men's golf coach here at Moorhead State, Dr. Rex Cheney. And Coach, always great to catch up with you. You've got a couple of spring tournaments under your belt. You guys traveled to the Grover Page Classic in Jackson, Tennessee, and then uh, got your first taste of Florida for the spring campaign with the Mission and Spring Spectacular. Just kind of give us your overall thoughts on these first two tournaments here in the spring. Well, first of all, we go down there with that one time out on the course, and our kids are sophomores. They've got to progress and they've got to grow. A couple of our guys play pretty well at Jackson. <coughs> Excuse me. But my, I, th I had three that did not play well, and we had some good moments. But uh, the Fernbacher, uh, Michael Fernbacher kid, hadn't hit a golf ball since September. He had back surgery. And uh, he. He ha has all the tools and will be a very good one. He didn't play well down at in Florida because, I don't know, mentally it gets into their head and he was hitting a driver everywhere. And part of that's lack of practice. You can hit all you want to indoors, but once you get out, uh, then the flight of the ball. Right. So we made progress. We're expecting much better returns on the practice we've done when we go down to uh, Boca Raton for the FAU tournament. Jokingly calls you a junior college coach because your entire lineup is sophomores. You, you don't have any juniors or seniors that are playing at the current time, but you've been led this year by Logan Hogg and Will Branham. Uh, Logan was tied for 15th at the first tournament and then uh, came up with the 225 in, in the second event. But just kind of give us your thoughts on those two young men and their potential here at Moorhead State. Well, both of them have great potential. In fact, I talked to Will the other day, and I said, Will, you know, a sophomore shouldn't hold you back. You have the potential. You have the game to win the OVC this year. Logan Hogg opened up down in uh, Jackson with a 69 and uh, was tied for first. The next day... We play 36 holes the afternoon round. Our tongues were hanging out because we hadn't, we hadn't really been outside in 75 degree sunshine. And uh, no matter what you do, sometimes you get tired mentally. Those two can play with anybody. We've got to get the others to where these two are. Mm -hmm. You've got seven total events in the spring, which is a pretty heavy load. You guys just played in four tournaments in the fall. But as you've already referenced, you go down to the Florida Atlantic Tournament this Friday through Sunday, March 28th to the 30th. But does the approach change at all with seven tournaments versus four? Do you do anything differently here in the spring, or does it just take one at a time and do the best you can? No, we don't approach it any di uh, differently. We prepare for the golf course. Mm -hmm. uh, Unfortunately, when we weren't prepared in our last tournament down in Florida on the last day, 100 players averaged 79.7. Now, that's unusual for the kind of teams that were there. But the golf course was tight. The wind blowing 30, 35 miles an hour, and wind and golf don't mix very well. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate your time today, Coach. We wish you all the best this weekend down in Florida. And fans, be sure to check out MSUEagles.com for the, a recap of the Eagles each day on the greens. Good luck. Thanks for your time. Thank you. That's head men's golf coach, Dr. Rex Cheney. We'll have more on the Eagle Sports Coaches Show. Please stay tuned.